Episode 50, Extreme Sahelanthropus. Yeah, I'm sure I'll be fine. Sahelanthropus is on the move. The instruments on the support chopper are all malfunctioning. And Eli's acting strangely for some reason. Something's not right. Boss, for now, just get away from that thing. Hurry! Episode 50, Extreme Sahelanthropus. What could go wrong? Hi! Ah! He's so far away. I figured I'd give this guy a shot because managing those other vehicles was a pain in the ass. The other vehicles were a pain in the ass and D-Dog was mostly just getting hurt, so at the very least, not bringing D-Dog makes sense because not like he's going to help me with the fight. But I haven't used this- I've basically never used D- I've almost never used D-Walker though, so I don't know how much luck I'm going to have here. I just kind of stopped- oh, I must have fallen off something slightly because I stopped moving. Oh my god. Stop. <laughs> One of the main pieces of feedback I got from people is that he has weak spots, I think? Oopsie. Don't necessarily know exactly where they are, but he's supposed to have weak spots somewhere. So we'll see how that goes. Oh, let's run past him if he's gonna run towards me like this. Oh yeah, there's canisters on his back, right? Oh shit, he turned all the way around. Crap. I didn't think he, I didn't think the gun would turn all the way around. I don't know why I, didn't, I would think that. Because of course, that's the direct that's the way it's facing. Where, wait, where'd he go? Oh, he, he's real far away all of a sudden. I mean, he's taking some damage, I guess. Not a lot. Not a lot. I think he has explosive canisters on his body, is what I've heard. I'm definitely gonna have to call in, uh, new ammo. This plan is not working, by the way. He is not taking damage. So far, he's not taking damage. Alright, well, might as well commit for this attempt at least. Ammo Fulton. Should have requested that earlier, probably. There's the canisters, I think. Oh, there goes my ammo. <laughs> this is how you lose. This is how you lose. Nope. 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 I ran out of ammo pretty fast here. Uh oh. Does this thing have a durability screen? I Do I get to see this thing's durability anywhere? Is what I'm wondering. Is he gat he's using his Gatling gun probably. Let's just try to get past him if I can. There's canister on his hip, right? There oh there we go. That's some damage. Alright. Definitely gonna need a lot of ammo drops for this, though, even if this plan does work. I could definitely use a faster way for requesting supplies on a regular basis than is available to me. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Is that Pequot already? Is he supposed to be here this early in the fight? Just sneaking past you real quick. Trying to work on these 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 things over here. There we go. Can I blow up the other ones too? Not with that ammo, I can't. Oh, everything's on fire. Oh, well, that's real bad for me. I'm probably gonna die now. Yeah, I can't move. I couldn't move. That was a bad sign. Hey, quit kidding around. Snake? Alright, I don't think I put much credence in that plan. <laughs> ah! Destroy that thing. I'll rally diamond dogs and provide backup. I want to, but it's a giant scary monster. 
Ah, uh, I may have to go with the tank plan after all, and and airdrop a tank in again. What, oh, why did I, why did I approach those when I knew they were gonna do that? <laughs> God damn it! He doesn't. Does he even take damage before you hurt the kid? No. Boss, come in. Boss. No. Boss! It's such a goddamn long fight. That's the that's the most frustrating part about this fight is just it takes so long. Stop, Sahalanthropus! Fuck that rib cage. Rib cage shot number three. Oh, he, he blocked that one, didn't he? Whoa, where'd that one go? That was a weird shot. Just working away at him. Uh oh. That's bad. Trying to screw up his inside of his rib cage there. Oh, it's closed. Run away now. Ah. Who's your big bad monster? Yes, you are. Oh. Can't aim that high. Well, shit. I think that, that loud clang you get is when you shoot him in the right direction, the right spot, basically, I think. Oh shit, he's down. Let's get moving. Wishly, wish I could tell where I was going. There we go. Get on the right course to go this way next. There we go. Alright, he seems angry at me. Oh yeah, shot him in the weakness. Shoot him again, shoot him again. Probably just hurt myself that time. There we go. It's definitely his weak spot is in there. Oh, shit. Back on course. Oh. You're in my personal space now, buddy. Don't appreciate. Oh, kind of going off the wall now. Support helicopter, save me! Oh. Wait, which way am I facing right now? Oh, that's, that's forward, okay. One of the biggest problems I run into is just trying to tell which way the vehicle's facing. Uh. Just because the turret is so independent from the aiming, I mean from the, well, the, the trajectory of the vehicle. Oh no! I hate you, Cliff. Lazinski. What? Oh, did I even hit him or the ledge? I couldn't even, I couldn't tell for sure. Oh no. Oh no. Flamethrower, bad. Flamethrower gets me in serious trouble. Alright, quickly. Quickly. No, not in the loadout. Uh. Uh. Oh shit, he's. No! You jumped behind me. I didn't even see that until I opened the radar, and then I was like, oh god. This is how I die. Now where'd he go? No likey. Oh shit, I missed. No likey. He likes to jump, doesn't he? He seems to be enjoying that. Oh! That's bad. I should really get to the tank before he kills me now. Uh, don't kill me. No kill, no kill, no kill, no kill. 
Man, he does not make this easy. Oh, man. Come on. Ugh. Nope, I ain't shot too soon again. I'm good at that, apparently. Ooh, he's vulnerable. Can't really see right now. Shoot him again. There we go. Right in the weak spot. I'm just wailing on him as long as I can here. There we go. That'll buy me an extra shot, probably. Yeah. Come on. Let's get a loop going on here where you just keep getting stunned. That'd be nice. Oh no, flamethrower bad. No, don't cook me out of it. I don't even remember the, the flamethrower from before. He may have never used it in my other attempts. But dear lord, is that not the most dangerous thing he does? Oh no, I'm stuck again. Oh no, he's doing Archaea. Yeah, he is. Alright, well this is bad. This is bad. Nope. Just gotta get away as far away from him as, as, as I can and get back on my D-Walker. He's more than half dead. Oh, that's that's one of the frustrating things is like every attempt I'm like, oh, I got this and then I don't got it because I die abruptly. I'm like, no, but I got it and I didn't get it as turns out. Oh, no. No, no, serpentine, 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 phrasing. Hello, you. We're going to be best buds for a little while, all right? Don't mind me. I'm just going to run away for a little while. In a slightly more defensible... Ah! This is an intimidating fight. Alright, he's more than half dead. That's not bad. We made a real chunk... We took a real chunk out of him there. It's almost like the, the, the tough thing isn't even necessarily fighting him. It's kind of just the tough thing is fighting him for that long without ever fucking up enough to die. Okay, I don't really have cover around here. This might be a really bad place for me to hang out. Run past him. I'm not even gonna shoot back right now. I'm just trying to get behind stuff a little bit if I can. I need solid via- That was startling. Oh yeah, my character's not making the best appearances at the moment. Okay, quickly. He's out of line. He's out of line of sight. He's out of line of sight. Uh -huh. Go, go, go. I love you, Pequod. Be distracting now. That's his, right, that's his weak spot. Keep shooting. Uh, I lost my ability to shoot for a little while. There we go. Oh, having topography problems. There we go. You can actually see the damage happening right now. Okay, there goes the helicopter. I'm in trouble. I really should have used that as an opportunity to get in my tank while he was distracted. That's my bed. Where is that supply drop? Is that up on a cliff or something? Actually, it looks like it might be in the middle, which is not bad. Uh-oh. Oh no. Is he gonna blow up my tank? Alright, he's in super laser mode. This is exactly what I don't want him to be doing, basically. Nope! Yeah, I don't- I can't even see that supply drop. Well, while he's in this mode, I can probably get to this thing. He probably can't even see it. Alright. He's so low. Yeah, I've got no line of sight on him right now. Oh, 
There we go. Do a little damage to him. Oh, here it comes. He He's angry! He's angry! He is in a state of displeasure at the moment. There we go. We're, hit those ribs. Yeah. Come on. Hit him again. They, they probably weren't vulnerable anymore now. Oh no. He seems displeased. He does not seem to be like the direction that, that this fight is currently taking. Alright, I need to angle myself just right. That should be right for a while. No. A little that way more. Oh crap, I can't see long enough to tell if I'm aiming correctly. Cool. That'll probably last for a while. There we go, his weak spot. Come on. Please just last a while, tank. I need you to. Come on. Come on. He's vulnerable again. No. Yeah. I'm just inching forward very slowly right now. Trying to bait as many chain attacks as I can out of him if, if possible. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. I don't want to do this again. <laughs> oh, he's bad. Is he retreating? That's a little weird. Oh, no. He seems mad. Uh, if you could reload faster, that'd be sweet. Because I'm going to die now. Oh, God, I got it. Is that what I need to have happen? Oh, my God, just stop living. Just stop living. Just a little more. Come on. Come on, tank. Don't don't die on me now. Uh We're so close. Oh no, what's happening now? Alright, we're just gonna go back the other way now, right? Where is wait, where is he? Oh shit. Did I get him? Oh no, that's not good. I think I missed. I think I'm in trouble now. I think I'm in trouble now. I can't steer. No, which way am I going? This way. Okay, we're going this way now. Sweet. Um. No, did not mean to shoot then. Oh, the, the torso. Come on, we're so close. Where is he? He's over here now. Oh no, he's doing it again. God damn it, he keeps doing this right when I'm... Right when I just switched out of that mode. God damn it. God damn it. <gasps> I got him. That's good, right? Just stop living. Come on. Come on. Come on! We're so close, aren't we? How much more durable can you be? Which way is forward on this thing right now? That way, okay. Why is he doing it again? The number of times he's doing this is starting to get weird now. I don't remember him doing this. I don't remember him doing this that last time. Come on. Huh. Why isn't he taking damage? Am I missing something? Oh my god, I did it. Oh. I was, must have been whistling, missing his weak spot. Oh, fuck you, Eli. Development project has been added. Yes, mission complete. Boss, that was exceptional. God damn right. Oh, it's an A? I guess it did take a long ass time. I'm just happy to beat it, frankly. <laughs> Not an easy fight. <laughs> oh, I think we did it. Go ahead and accept our challenge reward. Four more S ranks. And just like that, I believe we're- yeah. 
we're down to the one remaining mission. Obviously, if this is 46, 45 isn't showing up here, but I'm like 99% sure that 45 is actually just this side op. I mean, we when we first in, when we first met quite, it was a stirring a side op that just became a chapter. So I'm sure this is just I'm sure this side op is just going to become chapter 45. Please so guys, coming next, chapter 45 and 46, I believe. We've, we've extreme Sahelanthropus is down. Took about as long as he did last time, honestly. It's a not it's not a short fight. <laughs> this is yellow cake that Cipher was having the PFs transport. Before we met you, the boss recovered it from a truck crossing the savannah. Are there metallic archaea inside it? Yes, the archaea metabolize uranium-235 to subsist. They must be stored inside yellow cake, or they cannot survive. So those biological traces we took for impurities were actually the real cargo. Of course they are deactivated, so they do not trigger a sudden enrichment. They are like baker's yeast. Yet, they do gradually enrich the uranium as they feed. I imagine you detected weapons-grade traces. Yeah, we did. And the Malachite that was loaded on the truck had traces of uranium in it, too. <laughs> so that's the flower, huh? Skullface was gonna sell do-it-yourself new kits. The uranium-enriching Archaea complete with a user's manual. And the ores with the uranium could be sourced by the client or provided by Cypher. Even the trace amounts buried in common ores can be enriched to weapons-grade uranium by the metallic Archaea. Proving that must have been the most important factor of the trials. That and the ability to successfully prevent detonation. So if the amounts of uranium in the ores are low enough, they can get past any inspection. And you only need a tiny amount of the Archaea to act as the yeast. No great challenge to smuggle that either. The first step towards saturating the world with nukes. His plan. That was not my intention. <laughs> my only goal in developing the metallic Archaea was to save the Diné. What made you think a tool for creating undetectable nuclear weapons would save your people? After 70 years, the Diné reclaimed the Navajo Nation from which we were banished. We bore all the hardships of poverty. But we were proud to live off the land we called our own. But in the moment the atomic bomb was dropped on Hiroshima, everything changed. I don't get it. The nuclear arms race between the US and the Soviet Union began with the end of the Second World War. Suddenly, there was a massive demand for uranium. And it was our ill fortune that the ground beneath the Navajo Nation was rich with uranium ore. The Black Anna government set up mine after mine, and many of the Diné worked them. Never informed of any danger, Every day, they went to work with no protection. The slag was simply piled out in the open. When rain fell, uranium traces left behind would seep out, and when the ground dried, it was blown about as dust. Land and water were contaminated, irradiated. Many of us became sick and died. That pain lives on to this day. I had no idea. Wanting more than anything to revive the land my forebears left to me, I was delighted upon discovering microbes that eat uranium. If they could be domesticated, I believed we could rid our land of uranium. Were you successful? No. The research called for funding on a colossal scale. But nobody was willing to invest with no prospect of a return. And that's when Skullface showed up. Correct. I can save you and your people. We share the same will. That is what he said to me. 
and I believed him. Black Anna forced me to abandon my uranium cleanup work and focus on nuclear weapons. And he held all the Dine hostage. Today, the uranium mines within the reservation are finally closing down. It is simply less expensive now to source uranium overseas. New victims, different places. But uranium is a tactical resource. To rely on a foreign country for it is... a difficult decision to make. And he was in the perfect place to influence that decision. He could have condemned your people to the mines forever. The contamination comes not only from uranium. The fallout from the Nevada nuclear tests also settled on our lands. As if our fortune were not already bad enough, we are also downwinders. To save the Dine, I must complete my original research. <laughs>